Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I've prepared a very exciting topic for you – how much software engineers earn in the United States and what makes up their paycheck. If you're curious, let's get started! Hi, my name is Veronica and I'm a software engineer working remotely at Microsoft. Today we'll talk about the big question – how much do software engineers in the US get paid? Well, the answer can vary depending on a few factors like location, experience and the specific company that they work for. On average, a junior software engineer might make around 60 to 100k per year, while a more experienced senior engineer can earn anywhere from 120 to 150k annually. Those are the base salaries, and those are average, so there are always outliers and exceptions. What other factors besides experience can affect software engineering salary? Of course, experience is a big one. The more years you've spent in the industry, the more you're likely to earn. But it's not just about the years. The skills you've acquired and the projects you've worked on can make a significant difference too. The areas of software engineering that pays the most in the United States are data scientists, DevOps engineers, machine learning engineers, and security engineers. Let's take security engineers, for example. The average salary for a senior security engineer in the United States is 131k as of July 2023. The salary range typically falls between 119 to 142k, but remember that this is not the only part of the software engineering compensation. We'll talk about that later in this video. Another important factor that affects the salaries of software engineers is location. Salaries tend to be higher in tech hubs like Silicon Valley, Seattle and New York City, where the cost of living is generally higher. On the other hand, if you are in a smaller city or a less tech-focused area, the salaries might be a bit lower but the cost of living could be lower too. Also, there might be not a lot of open positions and not a lot of diversity in companies. In Las Vegas, for example, most of the companies that hire engineers are slot machine related. Big tech companies divide the United States into three different pay zones. Zone A includes San Francisco Bay Area. The salaries are there usually the highest in the US. Zone B usually includes Boston, LA, New York, Sacramento, Seattle, and Washington DC. And salaries there tend to be 10 to 15% lower than in San Francisco area for the same job. Zone C includes all other metropolitan areas and the salary would be 10 to 15% lower than in zone B. Make sure you check the cost of living and taxes before committing to move to California. <laughs> so choose wisely. Just an advice. <laughs> All right, now let's talk about what makes up a software engineer's salary. It's not just a simple number, different components add up to the paycheck. Base salary. This is the foundation of the pay. It's the fixed amount engineers earn annually and it's usually the largest part of the paycheck. But that's not always the case for startups, for example. The next big one is bonuses. Many companies offer bonuses, which can be tied to various factors like performance, project completions, or company success. These can significantly boost their annual earnings. For example, an annual performance bonus could be around 10 to 20% of the annual salary. Tech companies also often provide sign-in bonuses, which are usually around 5 to 20% of your starting base salary. It can be paid all at once or in installments and is fully taxable as regular income. Then let's talk about stock options. Some tech companies provide stock options as part of the compensation package. This means engineers might have the chance to own a piece of the company and benefit if the company's stock value increases. That would depend on the company and on the positions you are applying to. Some companies would propose a 5% stock grant compared to the annual salary. Some companies might pay 45%. Stripe, for example, offers an astonishing 75%. It is one of the top 10 companies which pays the most to junior engineers, by the way. If you're interested to learn more about other companies, I have a video about that on my channel, check it out. By the way, would you rather get more stocks or would you rather have a higher base salary? Remember, stocks prices are not always going up, so share your thoughts in the comments below. 
Some companies like Microsoft also have programs like Employee Stock Purchase Program (ESPP), where employees may buy company stocks with some discounts. In Microsoft, it is a 10% discount. If you don't really familiar with the stock market, the main point is that you or your company buys the stock and then if the company is evolving and profitable, a lot of other people are willing to invest in it. The demand to buy the company's shares will be increasing and the price will go up as well. Then you can sell your shares to someone for a higher price. You'll need to pay taxes on the profit difference which you earned, but the rest will stay with you. Benefits. Don't forget about benefits. Software engineers often get great perks like health insurance, dental insurance, relocation bonus, remote work, retirement plans like 401k, donation matches, and even gym membership. So we can add value to those things to the overall compensation as well. Now, when it comes to salary, negotiation is key. When you are offered a job, don't be afraid to negotiate. Research the average salaries for your role and experience level in your location. I recommend using Levels FYI and Glassdoor website. Highlight your skills and accomplishments during the interview process to show your value. Remember that the first offer might not always be the best one. Politely negotiate for what you believe is fair based on your research and the responsibilities of the role. I was able to increase my base salary from 110 to 121k and got a little increase in the stock equity as well. So don't be afraid to do that. They already liked you if you got an offer. So go for it. To wrap things up, software engineering salaries in the US can vary widely, but they generally offer great earning potential. Keep in mind that factors that affect salary such as experience and location. And remember, it's not just about the base pay. Bonuses, stock options, and benefits all play part in a software engineer's compensation package. I know that some people think that software engineers are paid too much. Are you agree with that? Let's discuss this in the comments. Thank you for staying with me today. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. I am trying to grow my channel from the ground up and it is not as easy as it thought, but we are not giving up, right? I hope you have a great rest of the summer. Happy coding and see you soon. Bye.